In this video, I would like to use the midpoint sum method to find the area under the function. The domain is x goes from 0 to 12. I would like to use six sum intervals. So the characteristic of this problem is you don't know what the function is. So f of x is just f of x. You don't know what you have no idea what the function is, but you have the graph of the function. So this one using midpoint. OK, how do we do midpoint first? six sub interval so you have to cut the segment into six pieces so let's do the cut that would be six pieces will be five cut right so that is one two three four five five cuts and then uh, since you cut that into six equal pieces how long is each piece so that would be maximum minus minimum divided by six interval that is equals to two and then we call this a delta x so that is the width of each sub interval. So this 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, and then 10, and then 12, right? But I am not interested in the left point and the, and the right point of an interval, not 0, not 12. I want to do a midpoint. So that means you have to do one more piece for me. What is the number between 0 and 2? So the number between 0 and 2, so that will be right here, these points, right? So that will be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Okay, so let's mark the picture. Okay, 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. And then you use the pink. 1, 2, 3, 5, 7, 9, and 11. All right. Now, time to mark the picture so i want to do a better contrast so let's select another color how about this let's select blue so the first uh, rectangle the first rectangle is uh, x equals to one right so x equals to one we have y equals to this and then you should align to the right you should align to the left and then you line it up try to keep the line straight to make the picture look nice so when x is equals to 3 i have a point right here x equals to 4 x equals to 7 x equals to 9 x equals to 11 and then for each point align to the right align to the left and then you line it up to the right to the left and then line this up to the right to the left line this up to the right to the left and then you line this up to the right to the left and then you line this up so you have six rectangles so that's the first one that's the second one that's the third one that's the fourth one the fifth and the six All right you have six rectangles so the next step is you have to find what you have to find m6 for me right so find the midpoint sum using six sub interval. So what is the what how do you find the area of one rectangle? The concept, the formula is you have to do base times height, right? So let's take a look at the first rectangle, the one on the left. The base is equals to two, that is my delta x. And then uh so this two is right here, that is the delta x. And then how tall is that? The highest point of the rectangle is right here, right? See the big blue point? So that is when x is equals to one. So you have f of one then. So when x is equals to one, that is, the y value is approximately equals to 8.9. So that is two times 8.9. That is the area of the first rectangle. So overall, we write a long expression so m6 that is equals to the delta x which is 2 times f of 1 so here is my strategy i go back to my uh segment so what what number do you have to use we have to use the 1 the 3 the 5 the 7 the 9 and the 11 so those six midpoints so we already use the 1 and then 2 times f of 3 2 times f of 5, 2 times f of 7, 2 times f of 9, and then 2 times f of 11. That's it. And then when x is equal to 1, you have to eyeball that. So that is 2 times, oh, I would like to do this. I would like to factor out the 2. 
So that will be F1. I know it's annoying to write all this, but it is good to practice. It's all about practice, right? And then F of 7, and then F of 9, and then F of 11. So that makes the expression looks more compact. When X is equals to 1, you have to eyeball it. So that means for each point, you have to tell me the coordinate. You have to tell me the x y coordinate the first one is 1 comma 8.9 the second one is when x is equals to 3 y is equals to 8.5 so on and so forth but uh, on the test how do you guess the value because if you say x is equals to 8.4 then your answer is not going to match to mine so to solve that issue here is how i write my in class exam i provide a table value so you don't need to guess then all right so let me just give you the value. So that is 8.9. When uh, x is equals to 3, you have a 2.5. I mean, sorry, 8.5. When x is equals to 5, you have a 7.8. And then x equals to 7, you have a 6.6. .6. x equals to 9, you have a 5.1. x is equals to 11, you have 2.8. Again, how do we get this? When x is equals to in this function, when x is equals to 11, y is equals to 2.8, and then you clean up the math for me, that is 79.4. Is this an under or overestimate? So this one, it looks like you still overestimate a little bit. So this one, you still overestimate a little bit. But to, um, to make a final decision, you can make a quick comparison. So this one is um, M6, right? So midpoint sum using six interval. What about the L6 and the R6? So the L6, what do we have for the R6, the previous video? We have 70.6, and then uh, the L6, we have 86.6, and then this is a 79. So if you ask me, based on just take a quick upgrade, just based on your observation, I will say the midpoint sum is the best because you even though you overestimate, you don't overestimate too much. Even though you have an overestimation, but that is minimal compared to the compared to the um compared to the uh the left sum. Okay, so I will say the midpoint sum has the best estimate. I will say this one is the best. Although that is overestimate, but the overestimation is minimal. How do you minimize the overestimation? The answer is use more subinterval. So if you use M midpoint sum, if you use a 100 interval, I am sure you will get a more accurate answer. All right, so that is the end of this video. If you think my instruction is helpful, let me know in the comment below. Like the video, subscribe to my channel, share the video for me. Appreciate your help. I will see you all in the next lesson. Signing off for now.